Hi there, in this video I'm going to talk all about how to hack the collaborative space in Google Classroom. And one of the things that is difficult is that in the past what I would do is I would set up a document and I would make multiple copies of it, take all those copies, stick them in a folder, and then assign it to the specific students that need it. But there's a way that it's even faster and you can do it all within Google Classroom. And so I'm going to show you that next. I'm first going to start with an assignment and I do have a document that I'm going to use just as an example. But for this first assignment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this draft. And then I can set a topic for it if I wanted to, or I could even set a due date. And I believe that the due dates do copy over. We'll find out here in a second. I could be wrong. So I'm going to say that this is due on the 25th. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my document. And we'll say it's this assignment right here. I'm going to hit add like so. And then it says students can view. And since this is collaborative, I want students can edit, not make a copy. I want each student in this group to have access to the one document. Now, if I hit assign right now, all my students would receive it and this would be my draft and they would be editing the original copy. Well, I can use Google Classroom to automatically make those copies. I'm going to show you how. First things first, I'm going to draft this. I don't want to actually assign it. And I'm actually going to delete this later. You'll see what I do. I'm going to now use reuse post. And for every group, I'm going to reuse the post. So I'm going to choose this draft right here. I'm going to make sure this box right here is checkmarked. It says create new copies of all attachments. It's going to make a new copy for me automatically. I'm going to hit reuse. It'll pop up with the assignment. It did not copy over my due date, so don't worry about due dates until you get to the time that you want to do them. So I can set a due date, and then I can pick which students need this assignment. We'll say it's just the student here instead of all of them. I would pick the group as needed, and I'm going to rename this document. I'm going to say this is group one, and I would choose a topic, and I can make this one group one. And then I'd go ahead and assign it, and only that student would receive it or that group of students would receive it, I should say. Obviously, this isn't a good scenario to practice this because I have only a couple students in this class. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same process again. Reuse. Okay, now that I have my groups, I have group three, group two, and group one. And that's kind of cool because then over here I can just hit group one, group two, and group three and see those assignments really quickly. Uh, it kind of streamlines things for me. If I need to go back to the regular Google Classroom, I just click over there. And then what I'm going to do to finish this off is I'm going to just delete my draft. I don't need that draft. I don't want to ever use my original copy of that document, so I'm just going to delete the draft. And now I have my groups and the documents are still there. They're still intact because Google Classroom automatically made the copy for me. So it's fantastic. Now, if I want to quickly be able to access these, what I would do is instead of opening each one separately, I could just go to the About tab and I can go to the Google Drive folder here. And it's going to take me directly to the folder where these documents reside because it automatically made copies of them in my Google Classroom folder. So what actually happens is they don't go into a folder. They'll reside loosely here in the class folder instead of the assignment folder. But I can preview these really, really quickly. But they're at least in that classroom folder where I can find them and they stay organized. And I don't have to intermingle them with other classes. So once this loads up, what will happen is I will be able to view the slides and I will be able to flip through them quickly and see which one is which. So here's this group. I'd be able to flip through the slides, see how they were doing on them. And when I want to go to the next group, I can hover over here on the right hand side and click on the next button. It would take me to the next group and I would be able to see it. It might be even wise that you provide for them an opportunity for them to put in their name directly on the slides or on the doc. But I'm able to flip through the slide presentation very quickly and then just use the next arrow to be able to see them. So that is a quick way to be able to hack the collaborative space in Google Classroom. 